We need to pass the exam and escape from the headmaster's office. What are you waiting for? A room full of gas is no place to relax. So first we're going to come over to this coat rack, grab this small key. That's going to get us started. We can bring that over to the desk, which you'll see has a small padlock on it. First I'm going to grab this floppy disk. We'll need that later. Take that screwdriver and take a look at that photo. Actually, just take the photo and you can look at it later. There's our main mission. What is the headmaster's name? So we're going to look at a few items over here. There's three trophies. A receipt for two clocks. And a receipt for five plants. So three, two, five is going to be a combination to this briefcase here. Sorry, I didn't enter it exactly correctly. It's actually 253 from the top down. 253, and that opens the briefcase. And then you see we look at these photos, and they're all dated. Egypt, Japan, and then Greece. So we're going to touch the books in that order in the order of the dates from the earliest to the latest, Egypt, Japan, Greece. Walls are often misleading at the academy. Reveals a secret room. So that floppy disk we grabbed earlier, we're gonna use that straight away. Gives us the word dead, which we are then going to play in that order on the keys of this piano. D E A D. Music never dies. I know you probably don't need my narration, you could just follow me through the video, but YouTube likes a little narration. So there we put in the UV light bulb, reveals the name Jacqueline. But you can see there was a smudge in front of it and a smudge behind it. So Jacqueline is actually the middle name. This fo fox mask looks familiar. So we're going to go back and look at that photo. See the individual with the fox mask's name is Sandy. So now we have Sandy, Jacqueline. We grabbed that screwdriver out of the desk earlier. So we're gonna come here and open this vent. Look who thinks they're sneaky. And we find a phone number pasted on the inside of the vent. 
we're going to go back to the desk and call that number. So if you want to write it down, they recommend having a pen and paper and it actually can come in kind of handy. Or you could just keep the video up and enter the number as I do. You've reached Jeb. Oh, wait. Uh, Headmaster Salon? Aren't you interviewing the new kid? So Jeb says head, Headmaster Solange. So we have the first, middle, and last name that we need. Sandra Jacqueline Solange. We're on to our next escape. <laughs> 